peace. I do not say that lightly, Mr Deputy Speaker. I do not say these things lightly. For a number of things that are not in the legislation. So I'll forgive her uh, that she didn't take the time to read it uh, properly. Well, this is a very feisty exchange with a very passionate SNP MP, Alison Thewlis, and our potty-mouthed Home Secretary James Cleverly. Where Alison not only rinsed this ridiculous Rwanda bill, she used the F word as well. Humpty Dumpty said, when I use a word, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. <laughs> just by saying that Rwanda is a safe country does not make it so. Legislating does not make it so. The minister says that Rwanda is safe, but yet somehow his treaty says that we will accept asylum seekers from Rwanda, from that safe country, so it's both safe and unsafe. His, he says he respects the uh, assessment of the Supreme Court, but he's here today to override it. His, his treaty says that they won't remove children, but the treaty is full of provisions for what happens when children do end up in Rwanda. He says that human rights are important, but they're not there for everybody, and he seeks to disapply them. He comes here today as well, while the Rwandan minister says it's always been important to both Rwanda and the UK that our rule of law partnership meets the highest standards of international law and it places obligations on both the UK and Rwanda to act lawfully. Without lawful behaviour by the UK, Rwanda would not be able to continue with the Migration and Economic Development Partnership. So if this deal does break international law and our treaty obligations, the deal fails to exist. Well, the, he says it doesn't, but it's not a matter that you can just overlook Human Rights Convention, the, the Refugee Convention, all of those other conventions, and disapply them when it suits. International law doesn't work that way. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Deputy Speaker, this is an assault on human rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should not let this stand from this House because human rights are universal and they are for everybody, not who the Home Secretary thinks that they should apply to. This bill is a dangerous distraction. It is part of a march towards fascism. Every single piece... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not say that lightly, Mr Deputy Speaker. I do not say these things lightly. Human right, does he believe that human rights are universal or does he not? That is the key question to this legislation. Because every piece of legislation that we have passed so far, we were told that it would be a, a deterrent. And yet here today, none of them have worked. And this, this illiberal, toxic piece of red, uh, legislation today is supposed to be a deterrent when all of the others have failed. Mr Deputy Speaker. His plans for Rwanda have been found to be unlawful. They are immoral, they are a waste of money, they should be scrapped. Scotland wants none of this, none of this appalling legislation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, it would shame that the Honourable Lady's comments are clearly based uh, on what I can only assume what I can only assume is a cursory and super, uh, superficial a skim of the legislation because she criticised it for a number of things that are not in the legislation. So I will forgive her uh, that she didn't take the time to read it uh, properly. We are absolutely, we are absolutely committed. We are absolutely committed to uh, human rights. We were one of the, we were one of the, we were one of the uh, uh, founders of the European Court of Human Rights, and the. And our uh, commitment to abide by international law is unwavering. It underpins the relationship that we have with Rwanda. And I can assure her that that will remain in the forefront of our thinking throughout. And she might reflect, she might reflect on the appropriateness of throwing the word fascism around when we are bringing a bill, a bill upon which every member of this House will be allowed to vote. Because we are in a democracy. How oh, fancy not reading our potty mouthed Home Secretary's statement, Alison Thewlis. How dare you? If you had, you might have heard this statement. Other countries have since copied our plans with Rwanda. Now, if you had read it, you could have stood up and made a point of order on this statement, Alison Thewlis. At 
accuracy is incredibly important in this House, and I wouldn't want it to be uh, on record that something is not correct. The Home Secretary's statement said that other countries have since copied our plan with Rwanda. I can find no evidence that that is accurate. Uh, can the Mr Deputy Speaker advise on this point of accuracy, because there is no country that is uh, copying the plan with Rwanda? Yeah. 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 Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker, a number uh, of uh, countries are exploring uh, third country. Third. Third. Sorry? Uh, third country. Third country asylum processing. Uh, the, uh, the example that uh, springs uh, most uh, rapidly to mind is Italy's relationship uh, with Albania. Thank you very much. No, this, well, this will be the last point of order. On a point of accuracy, those that are being moved to Albania will be under Italian law. That is not the plan for the Rwandan plan. Ah. <laughs> if I was Speaker of the House at that time, I would have said, leave us his own Home Secretary. <laughs> I love Alison Thoulis, always up for the political fight and stands up for the downtrodden and the vulnerable. And I've got to admit, Proper got under the skin of this extreme Brexit Tory government with that fascist line. Fantastic. Also, a great pickup of the other countries copying our Rwanda plan line. Made him look an idiot, didn't she? Actually, it's not hard. It is our James not so cleverly, so but anyway. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But anyway, before I go, I've left a link down below in the description box of a petition that a couple of friends of mine asked me to sign and I've signed it and I thought I'll ask if you want to have a look at it. It's called Save Language Translation and Interpreting Degrees at the University of Aberdeen. All the information you need is in the link so please give it a visit and hopefully you might sign it. But anyway, I shall leave the video here and I shall bid you farewell and 